Friendships and amenity are two of the most fundamental relationships that people can have with each other. These relationships can have a profound impact on our lives, shaping who we are and how we interact with the world around us. Friendship is a close relationship between two individuals based on mutual affection, trust, and support. Friendships can form between people of any age, gender, race, or background, and they can bring great joy, comfort, and support to our lives. One of the most important aspects of friendship is the emotional support that friends provide to one another. A good friend is someone who is there for you through thick and thin, offering a listening ear and a shoulder to cry on when needed. Friends can also provide practical support such as with moving or with a difficult project at work. Another key aspect of friendship is shared experiences and activities, whether it's hiking, playing video games, or watching movies. Friends often enjoy spending time together doing things they love. These shared experiences help to, bound, help to bond friends and create memories that can last a lifetime. In addition to these benefits, friendships can also bring challenges and difficulties. Friends may have disagree or misunderstanding that can strain the relationship and these challenges can be difficult to navigate however a strong friendship is one that can weather these challenges and come out stronger on the other side in addition to these benefits friendships can also well, anonymity on the other hand is a relationship characterized by hatred animosity and conflict Friendships can be some of the most positive and rewarding relationships we have. Enmities can be some of the most negative and draining. Enmities can form between people for a variety of reasons, such as jealousy, competition, or a past conflict that was never resolved. One of the main drawbacks of enmity is the impact it can have on our emotional well-being. Being in conflict with someone can be stressful and exhausting, and it can take a toll on our mental health. Furthermore, enmities can also impact our relationships with others, as the negativity and conflict can spread to those around us. Despite the difficulties that enmities can bring, it is important to note that they are not always permanent. Just as friendships can evolve over time, enmities can also change and transform. For example, two people who were once enemies may come to a deeper understanding of one another and develop a more positive relationship. Friendships and enmities are two of the most fundamental relationships that people can have with each other. They bring both benefits and drawbacks, and they can shape our lives in profound ways. While enmities can be difficult to navigate, they are not always permanent and there is always a potential for positive change. Whether we are building close friendships or working to resolve conflicts with those we dislike, it is important to treat others with kindness, respect, and understanding. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, with all that being said, welcome to the No News Just Facts podcast. Welcome in. Welcome, 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 welcome back yet again for another episode. Keep coming out with these episodes. I don't care what I'm doing. I'm still going to make time for this because I love doing this. I'm not getting paid for this and it doesn't matter because it's not about the money. This is my passion. Um, I brought up that monologue about friends because, you know, we all have somebody we put our trust in. That whole monologue is just a reminder that just because everything is going right with your friendship with his, with somebody, it doesn't mean that things can't go left. You know, people fight, people argue, you know, but the best friendships are those that are not actually friendships. It's the ones that are that feel more like family, you know? But I don't want to get too deep, man. Um, we're just going to get into, you know, everything that's going on. 
and I'm probably also going to have a, another monologue as well. So just stay tuned and let's get into the first thing. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be reviewing the new NF uh, music video and or song as well. So just a quick rundown, uh, NF is a rapper out of Michigan. The majority of the music that he makes is like more of a, uh, how would I say it? He does like this dark kind of content without it being too like explicit on the end of like even cussing in his rap lyrics. Honestly, I think he's a, I think he's a really good, I think he's a really good MC. He does things a certain type of way. He just puts out the music and just minds his business. I love artists who can just do music and leave this, uh, the expectations of what people think of them to the side. Um, so basically he's putting out an album of the same name, I believe. And this is the track list right here. Uh, he doesn't really have, he's, he's one of those artists just like, uh, another, like a, a lot of, uh, artists who rarely do features who rarely have features and rarely do features so it's kind of a shocker i'm gonna be honest with you to see corday on this track list right here so of course like i said he is putting out a, a album of the same name which is hope of course so the music video and i'm gonna focus on the lyrics as well the lyric so in the beginning of the video let's give me a second here in the beginning of the video we have this of course and a lot of the message like a lot of the messages in the beginning of this go as followed it's uh hope yeah i'm on my way i'm coming don't lose faith in me i know i've been waiting i know you've been praying for my soul so right off the bat you already know you're in for a uh clashing of two different person just as just as nf has done on a lot of his records in which he has two different alter egos as you can see right here there's the dark nf that we're used to that we know and then you have the other nf um that's like really on some more positive you know shining light type vibes i'm gonna be honest with you i like it I, li I like to hear like the happier name, if you will, because I mean, dark rapping enough is, is dope, but to hear a positive enough, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's some, it's some, it's a, it's a great, cool thing to see, to be honest with you, the cool thing to see, you know, with lyrics, like, uh, what's my definition of success, listening to your heart standing up for what you know is right while everybody is tucking their tail between their legs you know things of that nature you know he he's really on some positive stuff for the most part throughout this whole entire song and video to be completely fair with you um and he does something throughout the he does he does like revisit something throughout the song he keeps saying this 30 years thing he's saying 30 years 30 years 30 years 30 years and 30 years 30 years 30 years and he's just like going through all of his uh, moments in which all of his uh i don't know identity the things that have have uh i guess crushed his identity in a way in my opinion I'm not gonna say I, I i fully understand everything that he's saying in the song but for the most part i feel like it's like an identity battle if you will like uh this is this photo right here for instance in which you know positive nate is staring at the darker side of nate which i think is dope as hell this is also referencing uh one of his albums i can't remember which one but i think like the Im like all throughout this video the imagery is just crazy like if you blink you're gonna miss something in the in the the whole entire out uh song and video you're gonna just like miss everything he put together you know like here's another one that i think is cool like this right here this is can't remember the name of that album where he was uh locked in uh, basically he had himself in a prison you know he had the darker side of himself locked away in a prison and in the video in the video 
that same locked away person is an older version of himself. The older version of himself has the keys to get out of the jail, but he just stands there. Big metaphor, you would have to like really like look into it to understand um, even more. Uh, I don't even know if I have that much time to really look into it that much, but there's just so many like things about this things about this song and this video that like are pieced together to make something that only Nate himself could just really execute very well and I love the video I love the song and hopefully this album this hope album is like I guess like a mixture of like the dark and the light because you know everybody has their flaws and I think that's what He's basically trying to like, you know, I guess define here with this video and this song. And I'm sure that's the way the album is going to be. So good song, good video. Hopefully there's a uh, more, more, more creation like this that makes me think and makes me like, you know, ponder more than just the video. You know, it's like a double entendre on both sides and i can like really think about the lyrics as much as the video so car malone is uh basically making like he's viral right now and for the wrong reason definitely not the right reading but basically if you did not know all-star weekend was i believe this past weekend and it was in it was held in utah of course and of course you know car malone being one of the uh, legendary players from the utah jazz basketball team they honored him at the all-star game now while all of that is going on nobody could uh, anticipate the bombshell that came on the internet when it came out that carl malone when he was 20 years old as a college student i can't i don't know what uh college he went to but he had uh, impregnated a 13 year old in 1983 and he spent like years denying the son of the person he had been pregnant basically nothing has ever happened to carl malone because of this and you know the internet of course is going into a frenzy over this which i mean of course that's gonna happen uh you know for the most part like i said carl malone has stayed out of the public eye as much as possible because he doesn't want to face the judgment and backlash that of course the public's going to give him for something like that that is happening one twitter user said call a spade a spade carl malone r-worded a 12 year old and she got pregnant it comes up maybe once a year because of basketball and ish and it dies down men just keep living their life being abusers and flourishing and people taking or she was trying to say talking about it like a fun fact and not a literal crime honestly i get what she's i get what that girl is trying to say but at the same time there you know there's also like don't sit up here and act like it, there's no female abusers out there you try to say that like all men are abusers is crazy. You saying all men are abusers is crazy. Uh, it's crazy. The, the NBA memes page said uh, it's crazy that the fans at the All Star Game disrespected Kyrie like that while cheering for Karl Malone, treating Kyrie like Hitler for doing essentially nothing, then throwing a ceremony at All Star Weekend for a literal proven child R word, Karl Malone. A few months later, hilarious. Molly Morrison said that we should not be acknowledging, let alone honoring Carl Malone. Discussed. Ron got game said honoring Carl Malone at the All Star game is disgusting. NBA gotta stop, bro. This woman said Carl Malone is disgusting. Carl Malone is disgusting. Niggas been knew that nasty ish. The NBA don't give a f that girl gave birth at 13, so she was 12. Got DNA proven it. Kid grows up and he tells that kid, don't use my name to get you anywhere in life. Like what? Yeah, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That first one that I read was, was mad crazy. Um, I believe the child, the guy, like the kid 
like Carl Malone, Carl Malone's son actually responded. I don't know if I have time to find that, but yeah, for the most part, man, honestly, it is what it is. Uh, if he hasn't faced any trial for any of the things he did back then, you know, I don't think anything's going to be done. I'm very, very, very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I'm sure he gave, I, I'm sure he gave that woman some money, gave her family some money. I mean, there, there are some things that are not being said. Uh, that doesn't make, make him any less, any, it doesn't make him any less of everybody's perception of him. Yeah. Honestly, like I said, I'm, I've been new about this. Like I knew about, I, like I said, uh, a YouTuber pointed this out like five years ago and just like they say it comes up every once in a while and people talk about it and then it just disappears again and Carl Malone just goes back into his privacy because he you know and then his response to the thing was like okay and you know his whole response to it was like all right and so what it happened I've, 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 I've already, you know, I've already accepted and lived with the fact that I did it and it happened, which it's, it sounds, it really sounds like disgusting. And it sounds like he's very, very careless of whatever it is that he did back in the day. But, uh, you know, it's not up to me. It's, it's not up to me to judge him. That's, that's up to God. So, but anyways, on to the next one, man. So apparently Madden's next EA's next Madden game is a make or break game. Uh, it says here that there will be a lot of changes among the game's leadership if they fail to make a game that the public approves of. So this will give them that extra motivation. Listen, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be frank. As somebody who hasn't played Madden since maybe, I want to say like Madden 20. Madden has always been in a uh, turmoil of uh, repetition, copy and paste, whatever you want to call it. At least we had back in the day when they still made it, at least we still had like alternatives like, you know, even though 2K didn't have, doesn't have the NFL license, they could still make an alternate game. We still have that. Even, you know, before they stopped doing it, EA had the NCAA game and then once they close that out it was just like okay well there's nothing to do here but take this Madden game or just you know complain which you know most of everybody buys the game and still finds flaws within the game like I said I haven't played Madden since like Madden 20 I haven't played a Madden since Madden 20 because I'm just not I'm just not really big on Madden like that I, I like I'm more of a uh, NCAA person. I'm more of a uh, yeah. I just like the the NCAA franchise better, and you know they gonna make us wait as long as they can because you know they got that whole thing with uh, paying athletes to be in the game, and then you know because basically NCAA players are their own likeness pretty much, and them being put in games and not getting paid is you know that's very criminal so yeah i mean we can only we can only see i mean you know i like the fact that there are still our uh alternatives like the uh the what was it the uh maximum football game and then you have the, the doug flutie game um they might not be the best they might not be on the level of a madden they might not have many developers but i mean those games do a lot to distract people who are just frustrated that have been you know loyal uh consumers of madden you know and just still keep getting whatever they get from these ea develop and you know ea continues to for the most part not listen to the consumers and hey make this change or take this thing that uh was in a previous madden and put it back in the game because we like this it's the same thing with it's the same thing with like uh 2k 2k uh 2k has the WWE game like they have the license to to work with wwe and make their games i'm sure there have been uh, up until now there have there have been uh, uh some instances where like fans are asking 2k to like put this in the game hey put that in the game can you like 
take something from SmackDown vs. Raw and put it in these 2K wrestling games. You know, they just need to. I feel like these these companies that make these uh, video games need to listen to the consumer more. Those are these are the people who buy your games. It would behoove you to, you know, listen, take their opinion. These are the people who spend their hard earned money working 12 hour shifts, 10 hour shifts, eight hour shifts, you know, working nine to fives. And they shell out that money because, you know, they, they want to ha have something that they enjoy. And it's mostly it's mostly males. You can give them you can give them the common courtesy of, of being able to put these things in these games. Electronic Arts, come on. Do what you need to do. I mean, I'll wait forever for the for for this NCAA game. But at the same time I'm not holding my breath if they don't like get it done and do do it how it's supposed to be done. And there's always going back to NCAA thirteen and, and uh what is it? 14 i think they stopped at 14 and just said no i mean i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like they need to just go ahead and bring back a, a we need another ncaa basketball game y'all might not y'all might say no but i think there needs to be another ncaa basketball game they cut that too short they cut that short too early and kept going with, with football for some reason but yeah that's what i think about it all right so next crazy thing is this right here so a pastor ended up dying in Mozambique after trying to fast for 40 days. So now, how I feel about fasting. I believe in fasting. I believe, you know, fasting is a great thing, you know, for, you know, more than a, a lot of reasons. Uh, but for the most part, it's to like clean your spirit. I feel like fasting is good for cleaning your spirit, you know. And when you're fasting, you're not just fasting food, you're fasting, you know, whatever is getting in the way of putting you in a positive light and pushing you forward with whatever goal you have to become in life. I feel like fasting is very essential. And if you can do any type of thing that involves taking yourself from a negative setting to a positive setting, it'll be great for you to fast. Let's continue with the video. As he was trying to be like Jesus in the Bible. Now we all know the basis of fasting. No food, no drink. Fall. Well, no food, no drink is uh, right. I, I feel like no food, no drink is right, but it's not right at the same time because a lot of people who do fast, they drink water and then they pray. And then they just keep drinking water throughout the day because I mean you have to put something in your stomach. There's no way. There's no way. No human. There, like I don't care what anybody says. There's no way. No human can. There, there's no way. Any human being can go that long without food or liquid. It's impossible. You 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 won't even you won't even make it past two days before you before you you know die of star pass on of starvation it's impossible a longevity of time it can be healthy for certain people but it can be dangerous as well francisco found out the hard way after 25 days he was actually going through digestive or bro the fact that he made it to 25 days what did he do what did he do how did he make it to 25 days i bet you his bones like his skin and his bones were just like like that like he could probably barely move. Why would you even? Why would you even attempt to try to fast for forty days? You know, you know, how fasting, to, fa making it, to, making it to ten days is hard enough for me. But you doing twenty five is, and then you don't got no liquid. Organ failure. The village ended up rushing him to the hospital. Once he got to the hospital, they tried to reintroduce his body to food, water, get some nutrients in him. But apparently, his organs were so bad it mm. actually hurt when he ate anything. Ah. Reports say that Francisco had lost so much weight at that point that he couldn't even stand or even bathe himself. Yeah. Crazy situation, man. The pastor had all good intentions, just sad results. What y'all think about fasting? Y'all believe in fasting? Is it safe? Is it dangerous? Y'all comment below. So, I'm gonna be honest with you. Fasting is good, like I said. Fasting is good. You just gotta know what you're doing. You can't be trying to do. You can't be trying to fast like Jesus. Like, come on, bro. You can't you can't be trying to do that, bro? Like. There's people out here, like, 
to be honest with you, there's people out here who be working out and be starving themselves too. I used to do that. Starving myself and then don't eat nothing at all. Just drink water. I'm gonna be honest and tell you that it doesn't, it like, that does not work if you, like, if you go to a gym, if you go to the gym or you work out at home and you don't put no food in your body at, like before the workout or after the workout, it's like, you know, you just, you you literally trying to commit the S word by doing all of that, man. Like, I think, like I said, I think fasting is good for you. You just have to know what you're doing. There are different types of fast, by the way. There are strictly like, there's a there's a bean only fast there's a uh, uh only greens fast there's a liquid fast like there are different types of fasts you don't even have to fast the normal way there are like plenty of fasts you can do to your liking and what you're comfortable with but trying to go double digit amount of days without having food or drink is, is impossible and you shouldn't be trying to like hurt yourself like that i don't think like that's ridiculous that's crazy so this lady right here is the mother of a child who got suspended and wouldn't and if you don't know by the headline i'll read it for you it says kid is suspended from school after people find out his mom makes only fans content it says sarah blake cheek from florida said she was forced to briefly homeschool her son because he received a suspension after gossiping parents outed her for making money on OnlyFans. Let me further go into the story for you. Yeah, earlier this year, 31-year-old Victoria Snooks Treese announced that she would be taking action against Orange County Public Schools after she was no longer allowed to volunteer because of her OnlyFans. That's another one that happened. In defense of Treese, Cheek revealed that, revealed how she and her family were discriminated against when her son's school found out about her only fans videos you know my whole thing is like how did they find out about the only fans it had to have been like a it had to have been like a male who went to who went and found it couldn't have been like had to had to have been a principal or a coach who went and found out about it and then somehow it slipped out like it that's crazy somebody getting in trouble like a child getting in trouble because of something that their mom does it's wild too because i'm like man crazy very crazy i ain't gonna lie about that one um but the other woman who the other woman who also had something going on wait let me see here it says when victoria's story hit i messaged her because she had found an attorney willing to take on an OnlyFans case. Cheek said, I had a similar situation with being banned from my kids' football organizations because I did OnlyFans. They erased me from my kids' lives and humiliated me for what I did in private by exposing that secret. Cheek went on to add that she hopes Trees ends up getting justice for all moms who do OnlyFans, but only time will tell if things go her way legally. Um, in recent months, there has been a handful of controversial stories involving OnlyFans creators in schools. Most notably, a pair of former teachers were banned from the platform after they filmed content inside the schools, a big violation of the site's acceptable use policy. Well, I don't know what to really say here, but I mean, I mean, you're an adult, you can do what you want, but at the same time, it's like, if it's something that affects your children, I mean, you should probably stop you, you should probably quit that because i mean if it drifts off in the real life you know it's not it's not really a good thing you know so i mean i don't, I don't really know what to say on this one because i mean it's like yeah i get what she i guess she's doing she's doing this as a profession it, it makes her money and everything like that but i mean how far are you willing it, it, it just it, it goes into the thing of like how far are you willing to go to make money you know all right getting into the next thing it says ex san antonio spurs bryn forbes allegedly beat his girlfriend because her only fans account took off former spurs player bryn forbes has been arrested on a family violence charge that's according to an arrest affidavit documents say that about five this morning police were called out to the 16,000 block 
of La Cantera Parkway. The affidavit says Forbes and a family member were out when Forbes allegedly got upset and started fighting. The victim was reportedly hit several times. Forbes is a former guard for the Spurs, where he played from 2016 to 2020. He returned in 2021 before being traded to the Denver Nuggets the following year. That's, uh, and it also, so it says here, an NBA free agent who has played for four teams over seven seasons was arrested earlier on Wednesday on a family violence charge in San Antonio for hitting his girlfriend, who's also a former renowned porn actress. Forbes, who was released last week by Minnesota Timberwolves, was arrested on suspicion of assault with injury, a misdemeanor, after a verbal argument with his partner, Elisa Jean, turned physical. A source close to the former film star, the 29-year-old father of two, allegedly was upset by Jean's success after her OF account took off in the launch of her podcast, Heartbreakers, which she co-hosts with her friend and manager james mass man you want to talk about hate man goodness i felt like i feel like the whole entire relationship was toxic from the beginning like if you didn't know that she was doing all of this stuff as a former star then you know i i guess you didn't read into it more than you than you were supposed to uh getting up here doing all this foolishness this is crazy you know but hopefully hopefully you know she's all right and you know he's locked away because i mean you can't be sitting over here hitting on women and stuff bro and, and be trying to you know like come on now because her only fans took off really dude i don't know man i think it's something i think it's something mental going on there something mental going on there if you hit like if you think that's okay to be like hitting on women it's you're you're you really your your brain is really fogged and you're diluted from reality. But hey, what do I know? I'm 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 just a nobody. So Jeffrey Star is going viral for saying this. I'm not into all the other bullshit. I think what other bullshit? The they and them. Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone's mm -hmm. still bored on their fucking houses. They just started to make up more shit and more, more shit. stuff, more stuff. Yeah. That's where the like, conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you There's do no, have a conservative you're not vibe to you. Them, you're trans, you're male, or you're female. And you're standing and on that. Get so mad when I say that. How are you a they? What the fuck does that mean? It's stupid is what it is. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic. You hate trans people. You hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. I might even tell. I don't know why. She's right. <laughs> She's right. Like she's spitting facts. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, that just it just causes more confusion to to you know add more more I guess more boundaries and more carefulness. You know when things can be simple in a in a in a structured system that's building more and more things to like regard people. You know, like I, I'm not saying I'm not saying you're you know you don't you know you don't get to live your life and do whatever you want to do that's your business but i mean you shouldn't tell me what i you know what i can describe you as and what i can't describe you as like i had somebody at my job it, it's a whole it, it was it was a whole situation just like this in which they wanted to be called a him you know my brain is not programmed to like you know do any uh, to understand that uh, as of as of yet in this life and this person you know their appearance is in the vein of a woman they look like a woman and every time i would say she i i mean no no disrespect when i say it i'm only saying it because you know my brain is programmed to see people how they look you know if you look like a, a female my brain is gonna automatically think versus you telling me hey i want you to call me a uh uh a he you know uh, it's confusing that's that's all that's all i think about it it's just it's it's all so confusing that's what i think but you know she's right
<laughs> she's right all in all just examining this whole clip i don't know I, i've heard her name before but i don't really think i'm familiar with who she is as a person or you know what she actually does or anything like that but yeah she's right